Okay, so Simon, what is your role as a fire union rep? What do you do? As the FBU rep uh, at Agecroft Fire Station, I'll look at any uh, sort of matters that concern the members. You know, obviously, if there's any discipline uh, issues or there's uh, sort of any disagreements with management, uh, I would be sort of negotiate at that level. Uh, and I'm also the uh, the representative for. A division which covers uh, Salford and, and Trafford. So why are you so passionate about these strikes and what's going on? Uh, well I've been a Fire Brigade Union member well, since, since I joined, so which is like 24 years. Uh, I've been a rep for probably 20 years. Uh, I got involved, really it's just, I don't know, nat natural justice. It's, uh, you know, I, I believe in, in fairness. Uh, and. Uh, and from there, I've gone on to, you know, do you know, sort of other activities as well. You know, uh, you know, political campaigning. So, you are you just involved with these sort of campaigns in the Greater Manchester area, or are you more widespread across the country? No, no, we, uh, you know, we, we'll take part. And obviously, most of it is based in in Greater Manchester, just mm. just because of the travelling. But we do travel, uh, you know. Across the UK. You know, so, were you a on. firefighter previously? I, I am a firefighter You're still. still. A firefighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Agecroft. Yeah, Agecroft Fire Station. Station, and I was at Salford before that. So. So, what was the kind of response on Twitter? How did you find that? It's very, po very, very positive. Uh, it's, I suppose, that everyone seems to have a soft spot for firefighters, and they understand that it's got to be something very, very extreme. You know, before. You know, we, we get to this point where we take industrial action, uh, and uh, this this pension dispute not only uh, is it unfair for us, but it's also unfair for the public, because y you're looking at you know either keeping firefighters on till the sixty. Well, personally, I don't want a sixty-year-old firefighter coming in to try and rescue me. It's it, probably with his fitness, he's going to have enough to look after himself. Mm -hmm. What do you make of the um, opinion that 60-year-old firefighters have more experience as opposed to somebody who's 27, a young lad coming in? Some people believe that firefighters who have more experience, they they prefer to have them come into the house and save their family mm -hmm. um, if a fire was ever to come about, um, as opposed to a young lad. What, what do you think of that? Yeah. Usain Bolt is the world record holder because he's 27. I'll guarantee that when he's 57, he won't be breaking world records anymore. Firefighters are exactly the same. It is all about fitness. You know what I mean? We've got we're working in heat and humidity. Uh, we're carrying heavy equipment, and then on top of that, you know, we've, we've got to carry out tasks with the incident. It's it, it it's just not workable. Even the the, the government's own report says that 85 percent of firefighters you know won't be able to achieve the minimum fitness standard. And for females, it's even less. It's like ninety nine point nine percent, which it, it, it's just unfair. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you make of what? What kind of with Twitter and social media? How have you found that helps or doesn't help when you're trying to get your point across? <coughs> it's it has helped us because obviously the the mainstream media uh, have, don't cover our story uh, in. They're not even handed with the way they cover it. It's it's very much uh, government focused. Uh, although they they will give you a taste of uh, you know what the firefighters are saying, it it, it doesn't give a, a balanced uh, a balanced view. So you know we we are using social media to inform the public. Mm -hmm. um, David Campbell, who's the branch chairman for High Broughton, I'm sure you know, um, he said that. Um, he, he kind of compared firefighters to soldiers in terms of like the occupational scheme. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Uh, well, it's, uh, I mean, you got to think. On top, I mean, I'm, I'm an ex forces uh, myself, and uh, whenever I joined up, it was a, a 22 year pension. So you, you know, what I mean, at, at 42, you were considered no longer fit enough to be uh, a soldier. Uh, I, I know that the, their their schemes been reviewed since. It is very similar, you know. It's it is all about maintaining fitness, and it's it's just physiological. It's it, it's not the fact that firefighters are lazy and won't try and maintain the fitness. It's just impossible to do to keep to maintain that level of fitness. Is there anything else you'd like to add? 
No? Oh yes, there is. As if this is going to go on the website before, the Tories are in town marching the 29th against them. Thank you, Simon Hickman. <laughs>